Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory this may actually be a piece of alien technology. Just months ago, astronomers caught a third interstellar traveler, 3i Atlas, also called 3i Atlas, hurtling into our solar system leaving experts stunned by its hyperbolic path and mysterious origins, but with fresh images, a puzzling radio signal, and a bizarre seven-jet outflow. The story has only grown stranger. What is 3A Atlas really? And what secrets might it carry from beyond our star? 3A Atlas, officially designated 3A Atlas, stands apart as only the third interstellar object ever confirmed in our solar system. Its name reflects both its origin, the letter I for interstellar, and the number three for the third such discovery. And the Atlas survey team that first detected it in Chile on July 1, 2025. Astronomers call it 3I Atlas. Unlike the asteroids and comets native to our solar system, this object has an open, hyperbolic, hyperbolic orbit that proves it came from beyond the Sun's influence, tracing a path inbound from the direction of Sagittarius. Confirmation required more than just a strange trajectory. Teams worldwide scrutinized archival images, checking for any sign it might have been lurking undetected. Each step, from initial detection to the formal assignment of the 3A designation, demanded rigorous review to rule out every possible solar system origin. With its status secured, 3i Atlas became the focus of an unprecedented international campaign. Researchers raced to capture every detail of its passage. 3i Atlas swept into the solar system on a course unlike any native comet or as asteroid. Its path traced back to the constellation Sagittarius. The orbit is open, hyperbolic, meaning it will never return. This unusual trajectory surprised astronomers. After racing through the outer planets, it reached its closest point to the Sun, called Perihelion, on October 30, 2025. From there it continued inward, passing just inside Mars's orbit before swinging outward again. Perihelion marked a key milestone in the observational campaign. Each step along that arc was tracked by astronomers using a network of telescopes and instruments, each tuned to a different piece of the puzzle. Optical observatories mapped, mapped its position and brightness. Radio arrays listened for signals hinting at chemistry or activity invisible to the eye. Spacecraft teams prepared for rare opportunities to catch the visitor from new angles. This coordinated approach would be tested as the object's behavior began to defy expectations, prompting a series of targeted investigations across the electromagnetic spectrum. On November 5, 2025, astronomers at the Lowell Discovery Telescope captured a new image of 3i Atlas, then 1.38 astronomical units from the Sun and 2.23 astronomical units from Earth. The picture showed a compact, bright core with a faint glow, what scientists call a coma, but it lacked something expected. There was no visible dust tail, missing tail. For comets, a tail is almost a signature, usually formed as sunlight pushes dust and gas away from the nucleus. Yet calculations based on the object's orbit revealed a subtle but real deviation from pure gravity, a sign that some force, likely outgassing, was giving it an extra push. The viewing angle was only 13 degrees from the Sun, making it possible that any tail could be hidden by projection. Still, the observing team ran repeated calibrations, checked for imaging artifacts, and compared data across filters. Their logs captured the surprise anomalous morphology and no dust tail, verify signal to noise and filter artifacts. When all checks confirmed the result, the absence of a tail stood. As one scientist noted, the missing tail is real, not a bug. This visual puzzle, motion without a visible cause, demanded a closer look at what might be happening beneath the surface. On October 24, 2025, the Meerkat radio array in South Africa detected a signal that optical telescopes could not see. Two narrow absorption lines appeared at 1.665 GHz and 1.667 GHz, precisely the frequencies associated with hydroxyl radicals, OH molecules. 
These are classic signatures of water breaking apart, often seen in comet outgassing. But here, the radio evidence pointed in a different direction. The absorption lines were sharp, not broad, and analysis of their shape indicated a surface temperature of 230 Kelvin, minus 43 degrees Celsius. That temperature is cold, cold enough that volatile material can sublimate, but not so cold that nothing could escape. The lead radio astronomer reported absorption at both frequencies and said the team ruled out imaging artifacts, checked for a variable baseline and measured a signal to noise ratio greater than 10. Debate followed immediately. Was this faint chemistry coming from 3i Atlas itself? Or could a cloud of gas between the Earth and the object be responsible? The frequency overlap with the famous WOW signal heightened public speculation, but radio specialists cautioned against jumping to conclusions. Still, the invisible radio fingerprint of OACH, with no dust tail in sight, suggested a slow, hidden process that could be driving the object's motion. The search for a visible source of this outgassing would soon take on new urgency. November 8 brought a moment that left the observing team nearly speechless. Composite images revealed seven sharply defined jets erupting from 3i Atlas, each one slicing outward against the darkness. The jets and anti-tails funneled out at a 29 degree angle from the sun, a viewing geometry that finally let the structure stand out in stark relief. Multiple filters, blue, green and red, were stacked to separate the jet activity from the background haze. The principal investigator's excitement echoed through the team's chat. This composite will be the one in textbooks. For the first time, the scale of activity around this interstellar visitor could be seen in detail, demanding a new level of analysis. Astonishing, estimates place their visible length at nearly half a million kilometers, dwarfing the nucleus and stretching farther than the distance from Earth to the Moon. This apparent scale depends heavily on the angle between the object, the Sun and our telescopes. When viewed from 29 degrees from the Sun, features that once did at once seemed compressed by projection now reveal their true extent. Anti-tails, which appear to point toward the Sun, are an artifact of this geometry. Dust and gas streaming away, caught in the shifting line of sight. The energy needed to power such expansive jets remains an open question, especially when combined with earlier hints of non-gravitational acceleration and faint radio signals. The team continues to refine their models, searching for a mechanism that can account for both the sheer size and the unusual behavior of 3i Atlas. Right now, the universe hands us more questions than answers. As 3i Atlas nears Jupiter, science faces its limits, and possibility stretches farther than any comet's tail.